A-R-P, we need to R-A-P. Yo, I don't really want to like go too far with this, but salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. I don't even want an intro. I don't want an Area 51. I don't want none of that. Straight raw. Yo, ill will ARP. It is time for ill will to see Hitman holler. He needs to start getting some of those top, 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 top names. He has, I, I was looking at some of the battles that Ill Will has had on Rare Breed Entertainment since, you know, I mean, he's been doing this for a while. Like, he is the franchise player over there. Everything should start and end with Ill Will. From when he battled against Daylight and on. Like, he's been putting on classic after classic, after what? What's up with the Hitman Holler? I mean, Ill Will's did the Calico. He did Daylight. He battled against Jag, Forty Cal, A Ward, and literally just spun the block and beat Clean Paper. Like he's not even losing over there. That man is looking immortal over there. Like I can't even tell you a battle on Rare Breed that Ill Will in the last two years has lost. He's winning everything. Like, it's not even, like he's literally going battle for battle for battle for battle. He battled A-War when A-War was at his hottest point. Debatable at best, but you know, it could go either way. But other than that, yo, he's winning. And I was thinking to myself, yo, I like the competition that he's getting, but it's time for that, that top, top, top level. Cassidy getting whoever he won over there, it's time for ill will to see the big, big, big names. Like, it's, it's definitely time, because he's who's gonna beat him? You know, when they, when they said that he was battling on the card that was just coming up, I knew he was gonna win. I was like, yes, people will try. That's the thing. Niggas will try versus ill will. They'll bring a dope effort. They'll bring three rounds. But, it ain't really going how it's supposed to be going. Like, the 40 cal battle, I feel like he kinda like, just, Came in there and played with 40. Still a debatable battle, but at the end of the day, he shouldn't have been battling against 40 Cal anyway. That was like a kind of like, you know, 40 Cal was just coming back in a battle rap. He ain't really have his feet under him. It didn't make out for a good battle. But other than that, niggas is getting a issue fucking with Ill Will. Like, niggas is really getting their shit pushed. Like, he's not playing with niggas at all. And he's doing this shit on Rare Breed Entertainment. He's not even really seen on URL or I seen him battle Ill Mac on King of the Dot. I think that was like a year or so back. And I think he was supposed to battle Danny on King of the Dot. I don't know what happened with it, but I know it was supposed to happen over there. But even it don't matter what league. When it comes to Ill Will, it do not matter the league. He will he will show up, he will bring three rounds, and he's gonna smoke something. Uh I saw him call out Hitman Holler at the end of the battle that he just had on the Lift His Soul card. And I seen a lot of people talking about the Lift His Soul. You gotta remember, that's like a smaller roomed card. Like, it's not a max out. It's not a big room pay-per-view joint. It's a smaller card with, you know, so the names on there will be what they are. But man, fuck all that. Big card, ill will, needs to see Hitman Holler. What are we doing here? And if I'm bugging, y'all can jump in the comments and let me know, yo, nah, I, don't, I ain't ready for that ill will and ready. Don't, don't do that. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna say he's not ready. Cause he's been ready. And ill will don't call out motherfuckers often. So when he calls out someone, I think, with all due respect, he should get it because he's been the franchise player. I really thought about it. I was gonna do this blog yesterday, but I thought about it some more. And that's when names started flashing back in my mind, like 40 cal. Jag! Jag! He battled Jag 3 0 him! He beat Jag so bad that I'm in. We keep, in order to keep it a buck, gotta be honest. I heard that Jag's next battle was supposed to be Arsenal. On a rare breed, that's what I heard. It will beat Jag so bad that that matchup can't even happen. That matchup don't even make sense right now. Like, Jag literally has to go back to the drawing board. Like, he did good versus 40. You know what I'm saying? He showed that he could get his feet out there and all of that. But he has to, he did good verse math. But he has to show that he can really do this again. He can't just get Arsenal like that. That shit don't work like that. 
He can't. He cannot just jump out there in front of Arsenal after what happened to him versus um, Ill Will. And when that battle was announced, I kind of was like, yo, like, Ill Will's not the nigga for practice. Like, he's not the one that you're just going to be like, oh, give me Ill Will, I'll take him. And, and see, we'll see how it goes. Seeing how it goes against him will have you on a fucking poster, on a missing flyer somewhere. Will have you on a Summer Jam screen. Will have your career all types of fucked up. We don't just see how it goes with niggas like Ill Will. It don't work like that. So I'm thinking that ARP... I respect your moves, I respect what you do, I respect your sneaker game. It's not mine, but I respect what you I respect what you got going on. I respect your enterprise, I respect your catalog, and I respect the things that y'all are putting in the battle rap. But uh it's time for Ill Will versus Hitman Holler. Um he's already done and I know it's not about your proving because he's proved himself already. And he's taking all prisoners. Like, he's not even ducking nobody. Like, anybody who wants that wreck with him, he's taking them. He's, he's taking them and he's beating them. He's bringing three rounds and he's straight smoking people. Like, if you did not see, I'll speak for the folks who probably, because there's some people who just didn't see uh, Ill Will versus Clean. Clean had three rounds. Clean wasn't bad in his three rounds. His first round, you know, he had some shit in there. You know, his second round, he was, he, was, he was decent. He wasn't bad. But Ill Will is just Ill Will. It's like every time he went, Will came back with another one. Will came back with another one. Will had a rebuttal. Will was freestyling. Will was like, you know, choppers on display. Llama on the way. Clean all over the house like my mom. Like, he's just doing shit that nobody at that level is doing. And he ain't losing. And if he battled against Hitman, I would pick Ill Will. Like, I would really pick Ill Will. Honestly, that's a battle that if Hitman is smart, he doesn't take. Like, for real, if, I, if he's smart, he doesn't take. Because this nigga Ill Will is making examples out of people. Straight up. And I, and I, and I know that sometimes we kind of let our, our what have you done for me lately or the star power thing get to, you know, niggas talk about that star power shit. I think Ill Will literally is good promotion away from being one of the best rappers in the world. Like, literally, promotion. And when I say promotion, you say, what's promotion? Self-promotion. Like, there are battle rappers who are not better than Ill Will, but they're further along because they're self-promoters. Like, they have music, they have radio shows, they have merchandise, they have, you know, they get it, they, they do that. And, I've, and since I've seen him forever, I've always said that I felt like he needs to be more sociable, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be friends with everybody. You don't have to be on fucking Facebook all day. Shit, I don't even be on Facebook, but I got a Twitter and I got an Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, by the underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi. But you should at least be accessible. When you're not accessible, it takes away because it's like people forget you. Like, I had to like look up some of the battles that he had because I forgot him, you know what I'm saying? But he had kills it. He had kills in the battles, but I just forgot him because I just, it is what it is. So I don't want this to be seen as something like, ARP better book it. But I think he's really, he deserves Hitman Holler. Now I know Hitman Holler would probably look at it like, I'm the only one that's gonna promote, I'm the only one that's going, you know what I'm saying? He's probably gonna look at it like that. Cause there's been times where people have complained that it will have even posted the flyer to his battle. You know what I'm saying? Like he ain't, you know what I'm saying? He's not promoting this shit. And making it as much as it seems, you know what I'm saying? He's not one of those type of people that's going to be getting into social media beefs or making Twitter beefs with, with artists that he's going against. He just shows up and performs at the highest level. And I think that's the most important attribute in battle rap is to show up and perform at the highest level. You could have all of the personality and all of the fucking extra shit, but if you're not showing up and performing at the highest level, people are not going to tolerate it. He performs at the highest level, and I think that he should essentially be rewarded for that. The mooks, the hollows, the hitmans. You gotta take ill will to that god tier. He's gotta he's gotta get those looks because it's like at this point, if we're not talking about it or we're not even making up the conversation, then what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Like how many people are having a legitimate better year than ill will right now? I'm waiting. I was waiting for you to tell me how many people are doing better than him, and I don't really think there's many. 
and he deserves all the props, all the admiration, all the love that he's getting because he is smoking shit right now. And it's going to get dark for whoever takes that battle and jumps in front of him right now. But for the most part, I know Hitman Holly does the wild and out thing. I know he's on TV every day. I know whoop de whoop de whoop. When it comes to rap and battle rap ping, that whole Midwest thing, like, I think it would make for a good, a good scenario. And Hitman Holla would definitely have a fight on his hands with Ill Will. Because Ill Will can, he's the, he's one of the only MCs that does everything well. There's no weakness. Freestyle, rebuttal, cadence, punch, scheme. Like, he does it all. Like, if there's no weakness. There's other, there's some battles that have weaknesses in their game. Some can't freestyle, some can't rebuttal, uh, some don't have good angles, some don't make good aim. It's very few that have every single attribute. And I think that Ill Will needs to start being treated as such. Stick up the kid, don't talk to me like that. ARP, make it happen, gang.